Slob Defense, Modern, Alapin Variation, Sol Tanbayef Variation. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the Slav defense. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and under control thanks to nf3. nf6 develops the knight toward the center, adds support to the d5 pawn, and controls the e4 square. nc3 attacks the d5 square and starts to fight for the e4 square. dxc4 captures the c4 pawn and opens up the center. a4 stops the b7b5 advance, which would have allowed black to keep the c4 pawn. E6 controls the d5 and f5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. That was a free pawn. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. The pawn is now adequately defended. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This poses a queen winning danger. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned bishop. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to kick the bishop. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is excellent. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. 
it is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This pushes a past pawn. It is best. Placing a rook behind an opponent's past pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is quite good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Right on target. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.